crisp day of low 70 degrees and we are out and about we're gonna go we, we have to do some errands for to get some groceries but we are gonna look at some halloween decor <gasps> i am so excited welcome on this little journey i thought why not take you guys along on my little halloween hunting journey it's the end of august we're coming to a time where everything is out and i mean minus Target because Target, you know, has to have the school stuff out for 500 years. Anyway, things are out. We are looking and today we're going to head over to a plaza that I love. Welcome to spooky shopping, Halloween hunting. I'm so excited and maybe another video, maybe another video of this will come out once, once Target releases some things. was a big no was a big no um man am i glad that i went back in april and i got my little byron mold guy because wow they had like this little display there and it made me think i got all excited and then it was like it was like a wasteland there was there was nothing and it was packed there were so many people in there. No Halloween and tons of people equals no Sarah. anything that like TJ Maxx had a good they had stuff there were a lot of gnomes as usual but there wasn't anything that I was f doing backflips over um except that pumpkin that glass jar pumpkin in the kitchen section oh my god that was so cute I just have nowhere to put that my house is too small um loved him I also, I did like the, like, the display. I love the Nightmare Before Christmas display. Um, very cute. But nothing, nothing that, nothing that I needed. Nothing that was, like, really drawing to me. So let's go check out Home Goods. Let's see what they've got. Let me just tell you about Home Goods. Let's head on over as I talk about it. Because Home Goods, there's just, I'm sorry, not, no store competes with Home Goods. I just find that Home Goods selection and prices just can't be matched. Joann's is another one that matches my style, but it's, um, Joann's is pricey. Joann's is pricey. You have to wait for the sales at Joann's, which I know that they do that on purpose, of course. They they price things high for them to go on sale, whatever. And um, I just find that Home Goods' stuff is just uh, nicer quality, nice prices, and they have a nice selection, and they go all out. It's not just this tiny little corner like a lot of stores, which you know, that's fine. I'm not trying to hate on any store, but like Home Goods is my favorite. I just think that they have the best prices, the best selection. And I love that when you go in there, you feel like you have entered Halloween town. Like it is incredible. So let's head on over to Home Goods and um, let's see what we find. <laughs> I also love like every time I come to Home Goods, there's always a, a man waiting out in his car. You know, that's a husband waiting in his car. I don't want to go into Home Goods. I don't have 
I'm gonna sit in here and do my crossword or whatever men do. I, I have no idea what they do. <laughs> Everything, as you saw on the B-roll, everything is just beautiful. I love the statues. I love the tall pumpkin statues. Once again, nothing that I could ever buy because I just don't have the space. But love the, the tall statues. I loved that like lantern with the bats on it. I loved that like macrame, like skull alien looking thing. That was something that was really new and fun. I loved the small ghosts this time because I have the larger ghost, um, but I saw like smaller, like bluish ones, like tealish bluish. Very cute. The cooking ware, like everything there I wanted the, the of the cooking ware. Just, um, just so cute, all the little dishes and containers and so many cute beaded pillows love love like little jack skellington loved all the pillows so i've been hearing some some twinges of some uh, a ghost mug at kohl's so let's go see what's there i'm hoping he's there he looks like a, he's gonna be a great mug but we'll see let's head on over let's see let's see what they got Michael's had a really good selection. I love the Edgar Allan Poe line. I love the romantic line. I think that it's really cute. I love all the pink skulls. I especially really loved the like small little section with all the pastel stuff. That was really cute. And like the small little like pink and purple and blue skulls, all of that stuff. The little bat light, all of it, super cute. Let's head on over to our last stop, which will be Joann's. Super excited to see what's in there. Um, they usually have really cute stuff. So let's head on over to Joann's. So, uh, back from Joann's, I got the candles. I missed out on candles big time last year, and I really wanted them, so I got these two bat ones. And then I also snagged this 
it's like a haunted house and you can't really see it unfortunately like the bag kind of obstructs it yeah you can't really even see what it is let me see if i can unwrap this candle really quick come on okay here we go look at her look at her and then there's the wick isn't she beautiful i love this candle i just when i saw it i was like oh so I'm going to put these two on my mantle, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. Haven't started decorating yet. Have you Have you started decorating? I'm curious. A lot of people I've been seeing have started decorating, which I think, hey, when the fourth is over, get to it. Everything in there was really, really cute. I loved, like, all the, like, the mystical celestial stuff. It, the the mirror, the planter, the eye, like the eye mirror, that's really cool. And then I also really loved like the skull planter that a lot of people seem to love. Um, but yeah, really great selection. Guys, thank you for coming along. Um, like I said, I'll probably be doing Target next because they're super late, but I'll probably just do a singular vlog for that. Um, and then maybe there, if there's another store, I'll probably pop that in there. Um, but yeah, uh, catch you guys later. Thanks for joining and, um, happy hunting. Mm -hmm.